Welcome back all you kings, queens, and in-betweens to another anime movie review here on the channel. And right off the bat, I'm going to say that we are discussing a movie that I really enjoyed and thought was really well done. And that is with another beautiful masterpiece brought to you by the creator of Your Name, and that is Weathering With You. I thought that this movie told a beautiful story, and I thought the characters were very well realized, even the secondary characters. I thought the visual storytelling was really good, and the art style really held up to carry the message that they were trying to get across because this was a very visual story you needed a good visual aspect to it the colors and the lighting that they used was really good it was really vibrant and they knew how to mute it when they needed to to get a point across but then there was these bursts of color that were very vibrant and punctuating the moments that they needed to punctuate so that's enough of my thoughts. What do you think of Weathering With You? I think that its strength was its visual style. It was animated very well. Everything was very fluid. The story, because of its premise, skewed very gray. There was a lot of black, white, and gray going on. But you're right, there were a lot of bursts of color that made it a lot more pleasant to the eye because gray's... We associate with sadness, at least in this country, and it could be a little dismal if there's too much of it. As for the story, it was marketed as a love story and while it was a love story it didn't like smack you over the head with romance which i kind of appreciated as someone who doesn't like romance that much as a genre and i also felt like it was very realistic because when you think of the age bracket of these two individuals who were the main characters either you go the head over heels very short-lived love because kids that age typically don't really understand what that means yet. They're still figuring everything out. Or they have this sort of slow, gradual development that leads to a long-lasting bond, which is what you see here. So that was kind of refreshing, because I feel like we don't get a lot of that in anime. It's usually the, oh my god, I love you, I'm crazy, head over heels nonsense that makes me want to vomit. I felt, however, that the story overall was a little disjointed, and the ending raised a few questions that were weren't really addressed. It made you question everything you had learned up until that point and wonder if everything was just an elaborate lie. And then the other thing that really bothered me is that there was this one character that really looked like he should have been Spike Spiegel, but he wasn't. And it made me sad. You were missing that Steve Blum. He had the Steve Blum character face. All two things I've watched him in, I'm like, you're supposed to have that face. Also Actually, his, we've seen him in the three things. Also, his movements and stuff were, were similar to how the character moved it drove me nuts i agree that the ending posed some questions that might have been unexpected in a movie like this but i like that this film was willing to go there i think they took the ending in an unexpected direction that i was not expecting them to go in that's what unexpected means <laughs> As soon as I said it, I knew you were going to comment on it. <laughs> the fact that this decided to go the way that it went, I think, d makes this film deserve respect. And touching on your point on the love story between the main characters, I think that this was earned when a lot of them don't feel like they were earned. I definitely think there was experiences here that made them earn what they turned into for each other because of how the characters were set up. The characters were set up as these characters that were kind of starving for connection and were missing connection. Connection, and when they found that connection in each other, it was very strong and very quick but not that kind of, oh, you sat next to me in class and touched my hand and now I'm in love with you and want to marry you and want to have your children. And as you were saying, the color being dreary and gray a lot of the time was a big part of those moments when you did get the vibrant sunlight and the vibrant bursts of color. It made it really impactful in those moments. And you got these really cool and beautiful landscape shots or tracking shots kind of where it moved and you got to see the the whole surroundings now bathed in sunlight and the music kicks up and i thought the music did a really good job in this the, the vocals that they chose i think meshed really well with the style so that all being said do you think people should watch this i'm actually leaning towards no i think visually it was quite stunning but i don't think i liked the story enough that was one of your most shocking no's that I think I've ever gotten from you. It, like, I'm on the fence, but I'm just like, mm. I cannot stress this enough. If in, in a lot of other episodes, I have said, don't listen to Elaine and watch it anyway. In this, I cannot stress enough that you should not listen to Elaine and watch this movie. <laughs> 
Thanks, Cher. It is a very good movie. It's very well done. Yeah, it has some of its flaws, but there is nothing that makes this not worth the, what, hour and a half that this is? It's a little more than that, Jeremy. Is it's it? nearly two hours. Excuse me. Let me look at the back. Let me consult. It's 112 minutes. Thank you very much. Okay. So eight minutes short of two hours. It is definitely worth that amount of time. It's really beautiful. If you like your name and knowing the numbers behind that movie, a lot of people have seen that movie. This is giving you a lot more of that kind of storytelling visual and otherwise and it is an absolute should you watch yes and then you can go watch it and tell elaine that she's wrong (laughs) jeremy just likes when people tell me i'm wrong he also likes to tell me i'm wrong (laughs) well something that i'm not wrong about is this should you watch content here on the channel you should definitely watch that like the video if you like them comment down below tell elaine how wrong she is rude subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up and we'll catch you in the next one bye guys (laughs) you <laughs>